this right here is a Z370 motherboard from Asus for the brand new Coffee Lake CPUs from Intel. And um, as you can see, it's not their typical rogue lineup, it's their tough lineup, which are built to last. And um, in today's video, I'm gonna give my final verdict for the Z370 Pro. Now, I did check and they also have a Plus version. And uh, if you're wondering if you should buy the Plus or the Pro, well, the only big differences that I found were that the Plus doesn't have SLI support, but does have beautiful RGB support. So kind of weird, uh, kind of weird to see the uh, more expensive board uh, not have any RGB support at all. So no RGB lights or, uh, or RGB headers, which is kind of odd. I would have loved to see those because we can always turn them off. But anyway, the Plus version does go around 10 to 5 euros cheaper. So yeah, if you like RGB and don't use SLI, definitely get the Plus version. Although the Plus also has a little bit more lackluster sound support. But anyway, uh, let's take a closer peek at this motherboard and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about it and in the end of the video I'm gonna give my final verdict for this board. So yeah, if you like the video, subscribe and uh, leave a like and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. But anyway, let's take a closer peek and let's start discussing about this board. that you've seen the board a little bit closer it is all set up on my desk here and I've been playing around with it a little bit and uh, checking out the overclocking abilities and uh, overall how the board fares compared to the competition I would say but anyway uh, where to begin where to begin first of all tough series or the ultimate four series is meant to last the components chosen on these ports are premium and Asus themselves gives out longer warranties on these ports as well just because they are so sure in their performance. The interesting thing here is that uh, with all these quality components the motherboard is one of the cheapest Z370 boards out there that uh, looks like one of the most expensive ones. The futuristic design of the board really makes it stand out from the rest of the field. The cheaper Plus version also comes with a really beautiful but also well-performing M.2 heatsink. Kind of, um, kind of puzzling though why they haven't used it with the Pro model. And uh, one more note when comparing the Pro to the Plus is that the Pro doesn't have any ASUS's Aura Sync RGB support. So no fancy lights except the tough gaming logo uh, on the side of the motherboard and no RGB headers as well, all which the cheaper plus version has. The main bigger difference though is that the pro version does support both Crossfire and SLI while plus only supports uh, Crossfire. And uh, yeah, also pro comes with optical out while the plus does not. And as always, uh, I have a real eye-soaring issue with Asus's choice of slot covers. I don't like the metal design that has holes everywhere. Make the entire boards from nice metallic cover like most of the opposition is doing. So, I mean, there are definitely things that I would have loved to see on the Pro uh, compared to the Plus, even if it would have been a bit more expensive, let's say 15 to 20 euros. RGB is a must in today's systems, especially when buying a Z370 board. And don't get me going with, well, I don't need it, why do you need RGB? Well, you can always disable any lights uh, that you have in your system via BIOS or software. 
Overall though, I've been very satisfied with the Pro model. Asus has again done a fantastic job in manufacturing the best motherboards for new CPUs. It is really easy to overclock with this board as the BIOS offers a ton of features to tinker with and even if you don't know how to overclock, then you can download Asus' own AI Suit 3 which has everything that you need in it like a dual intelligent processors 5 that automatically does everything for you. You can set up what you need in terms of performance, let's say 5 GHz, and set the caps uh, for voltage and uh, temperatures. So uh, after you set launch, uh, your PC will start automatically uh, overclocking your CPU to the settings that you set it to. It is so easy, anyone can do it. And uh, yeah, overall I was really impressed with the automatic overclocking system. It does everything for you, it has a built-in stress test, so the PC really uh, tries to get to that uh, performance level that you uh, set it to. So it's gonna do stress test, you can actually um, tell it how long the stress test is gonna last, how much RAM it's gonna be using, so is it more stable all around or just the CPU? And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a really fantastic software, if you ask me. And you can also overclock your GPU with it. So if you have your Asus 1080 Ti Strix, uh, it will automatically overclock that as well. So, I mean, th it's a pretty, pretty freaking nice board for 160 euros. But as I stated earlier, if you don't fancy any auto overclocking, feel free to go into the BIOS and set all your V-Core, PLL, SV settings and whatnot down yourself. So there is a ton of stuff to tinker around with in the BIOS. So my final verdict, I'm gonna give the Asus TUF Z370 Pro a proper 8.5 out of 10. The main things going for it are the premium parts, the outstanding look of the board and all the features um, that comes with it like dual M.2 slots, SLI support and great overclocking potential with a very cheap price for a Z370 system. So. Yeah, that's uh, kind of gonna conclude my review here. My voice is uh, today acting a little bit weird here. Uh, so sorry if my <coughs> words were uh, kind of um, un uh, unheardable or how do you say it? Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna check out some other Z370 boards and X299 boards uh, soon as well. I'm still uh, finishing my own PC build, which is uh, due out maybe this week. I think, yeah, this week should be done this week. Uh, don't really know if I can film it this week though, but it's it's gonna be done real soon and it's gonna be an X299 system. But anyway, if you fancy a Z370 system, definitely take a look at this board. It's a really cheap, you can, you know, uh, save up to a hundred euros and maybe put that hundred euros to a better video card. So going from a 1060 to a 1070 Ti. So yeah, that's gonna be it for my video review. If you have any questions, leave them down below for me. And uh, yeah, if you liked the video, leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my freaking awesome YouTube channel where I <clears throat> don't always talk with a crackle. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now.